one thing bringing all these families together tonight. Gun violence. Picture after picture. It's all that's left. When I was 14 years old, I lost my brother Larry due to um, some of the same violence that's going on in the streets right now. He went to the store, came from the store, somebody shot him and robbed him for 40 bucks. The family of Mariana Hernandez-Gonzalez, who died this week after the SUV she was in was hit by a car involved in a rolling gun battle. It could be your daughter, your child, your grandparent, your father, and your mother. And it hurts. Bianca Fletcher, Shannon Rollins, and Fletcher's one year old son, Joseph. For them, some closure tonight. An arrest made, charges filed today. Even though we didn't get to, you know, say our goodbyes to Bianca or Jen or Shannon or, you know, JoJo, um, now they can really rest. They can rest, they can rest now, now. Now that this is behind bars. That arrest made thanks to a witness coming forward. Grateful family members and many others in need of the same kind of heroes. A lot of times people yell, you know, the police can do so much more, but we as a community, when we allow people knowingly, you know, to continue to murder, you know, our young people, our young African American people, and we don't say anything, you know, that hurts us the most. And that was Scott McDonald reporting. One woman at tonight's vigil has 11 brothers and sisters. And when asked how many had been affected by gun violence, she said every single one.